is Jay Paxt. Yeah, uh, fuck you. <laughs> I deserve that. Alright. Alright, thank you guys for actually sticking out. Uh, we're gonna wait around for a Zach too. Um, the little you know, a little prick is scared because I'm gonna fight him again. Because <laughs> I've got both canes and I'm ready to go. Now, um, one of the things that I've just kind of uh, noticed here is Nikki has been uh, talking a little bit about his uh, age and how he's getting older. He's a, he's forty or forty plus, whatever. I don't care. He's getting older. And I can go ahead and uh, give you Nikki, so you can go ahead and get applied. And uh, I was just called for uh, uh, burial insurance, so I just want to let you know I passed your information along too. <laughs> um, so you know, and then of course they've got uh, uh, you know, Medicare supplemental, blah 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 blah. Who cares? I'm getting older. This sucks, and I feel I'm so um, contrary to many people my age. When I have to read stuff, I take my glasses off. And most people put their glasses on when they're my age. You know, it's like, oh, I need to see my glasses. You know, it's like, I need to take mine off. What the hell's wrong with you? So, you know, uh, getting old sucks. Anyway, since I am transition from Greeley to, to Cheyenne here, the house, or the high school, that's clear, close to my house, um, my apartment, because I can't, I can't say, dare say house, because I don't have that much money. Um, their mascot is the Trojan. And my, I, the place where I'm living, I'm, I've got some roommates, and um, they've got a um, trans um, girl, daughter, I don't know, I, the calculus doesn't work for me. I mm -hmm. failed. Um, but their mascot is the beaver. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh my god. How well, hilarious would that be if West High School, whose mascot is the Trojans, meets the beavers? And she's like, no, that's that's not going to happen. You know, so I, I just had to put that in there. Um, OK, now. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. You know, I've got the ARP. We've got oh, colonoscopy. I've got to go ahead and start doing getting ready for that. I'm 45. Figured out why that was. They weren't um, suggesting colonoscopies until you're 50. Until about six months or a year ago, they started saying, "No, let's do it at 45." If you really look at it, the reason why is because they want to get more money a little bit faster. So. Instead of waiting until you're 50, we're going to start giving you colonoscopies every year once you're 45. And it's like, or, or whatever. But it's like, no, I don't want to do that. So, um, the other thing that was really interesting is the other day when I had to go into that procedure, my dentist was in the same office. And I'm like, wait. Colonoscopy, dentist. Did you wash your fucking hands? <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't get that. So that's one that I've got to work on a little bit there. I've got more uh, cards for doctors and uh, some kids uh, when they collect baseball cards. I've got more doctor, you know, more doctor's cards and baseball cards. Um, now, if you stick around until Zach gets here, I'm sure that we'll go ahead and have our little uh, fight there, you know, cripple fight. And uh, one of the other things, is I've been doing this for about a year and a half, two years almost, and I think I'm going to go ahead and take this professional. Um, I've been to Loveland, I've been to Fort Collins, I've been to Johnstown, Milken, whatever, been here in Cheyenne, all over the place. I, I, I'm not ready to go professional. Um, not professional comedian, I'm a professional couch surfer. 
This is the only fucking way I can do this. So, um, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm looking at all these jokes I wrote down today that I've been working on. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I was divorced three years ago. So this is my third anniversary. Yes. Thank you. Yes, divorce is expensive because it's worth it. <laughs> Then, now, yeah, after getting divorced, it's like letting out a fart you've been holding in for 20 years. And it's like, oh my god, that feels so much better. And then you find out she's fucking some other guy. He's like, you look like Mr. fucking Magoo. And he does. And here I am, I could be on GQ compared to that fucker. So, you know, that's your thing. Um, anyway. So I just went on a date, yeah, because, you know, everything is all um, online and everything, you know, pictures don't match and everything like that. But I went to this date, I met this girl, her name was Karen, and I was like, I should have known right there, right there, I should have said no, this is not going to happen. But we went, it was an expensive restaurant, we had Italian food, and she ordered a whole bunch of wine. Spent a whole lot of fucking my fucking money. But when we were done, she didn't want to go home with me. I couldn't drive her home. So I decided I was going to go ahead and call her an Uber. I called my friend Patrick, who I went to high school with. Now, Patrick came and picked her up and took her home, I guess. I stayed and drank some more, you know, Jaeger bombs and stuff like that. And I get a. Um, uh, invitation uh, six months later for for a uh, a wedding invitation for Karen and Patrick. <laughs> they're fucking get, they're getting married. It's like I fucking did that. Shit. <laughs> you know. So she was a uh, uh, my she didn't like me because I was not related to the family. Paps didn't have money because I ran the fuck busted ass for tourists at the time. And, you know, it's like, well, okay, well, he, Patrick drove an Acura. Okay. And I guess it was a good ride for him and her. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm trying to love new stuff here. So, um, let's see here. We got the gold digger, we got that. Um, <laughs> oh, in high school. Um, you know, we have to, junior and senior year, you have to do, like, home ec or senior and junior projects or whatever. So I would go to um, this stuff, and you had to do um, community service. What I did is I volunteered at the Humane Society. I love dogs. But what fucking happened? Every single year I went in, I came back home with a dog. And it's like, oh, damn. And a couple of years later, um, well, you know, it was just before we got divorced, um, I got into a little bit of legal trouble. And from there, I had to go ahead and volunteer at a homeless shelter. And instead of coming home with a dog, I came with Roberta. I said, hey! This is your new brother, Roberto. My son, Brian, said, Dad, his name is Robert. He's whiter than I am. Like, okay. Well, that's, okay, it's Robert. So that joke kind of sucked. <laughs> 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 so I was just trying to get that. Um, oh, yeah. Next thing. As you can, many of you guys know, if you've seen me for a while, I've got MS. I've had it for 34 years. And MS causes lots of problems all over the place. And one of those problems that comes is, um, you know, speaking of coming, come and go. <laughs> there is a come and go right next to the high school in Greeley. So it's like, yeah, well, let's go ahead and ditch, go to come and go. What's going to happen? I guess we're going to come and we're going to go back to class. So, you know, now they're changing the name. That'll reduce um, tardiness, I guess. But 
And I worked in special education, so I could not call them, you know, tardy. I had to call them late every time. So I think that's why I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, with all these problems that I have with MX, um, one of the things I have is, you know, I, I've become a drug dealer. Yeah. And that's because I get lots of special drugs. One of those things I have is uh, depression. And I know there's lots of people who have depression. And, you know, so it's like, okay, you give me a Zoloft, I'll give you two albuterin. You know, and, and we're like, oh, I need an SSRI? Oh, well, no, you got to give me MAOI. I've got to have different medications here. So. It's like, hey, $50 here, $20 there. Hey, oh, wait, I've got amphetamines, too. Oh. There you go, there's the cash. <laughs> so, it's like, hey, I've got MS, and people say it's a death sentence, and, you know, your life is over. No. I'm going to fucking make everything I can possibly go through this. If I can get through the lines of Elitches or... Oh, Disney World or TSA and get right through and get a, you know, a valet straight to my seat in the plane, I'm going to do it. It's like, fucking I earned this and, you know, fuck you. I, I get this. This is mine. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. Uh, and I'm also trying to kill time for Zach to get here. Because <laughs> that damn bastard, you know, we're supposed to fight again. You know, I, I've, learned a, I've learned some new fatalities. <laughs> There's still one other sign up, and I can take up a lot of time. Oh, to uh, I, I'm sure you can, but, you know, we've all heard you before. There is that. <laughs> you know. I'm just, I'm just doing it if I can. <laughs> so, um, community service, I got that. There's our MAOIs, SSRIs, got that. All right, and we got the, uh, um, football game between the Chargers and the Beavers, and it's like, well, you know, if it works out to a big orgy in the middle, you know, like halftime, okay. At least they're protected. Um, I'm sure that's going to be a big hit on Netflix or YouTube. Um, let's see here. Kind of. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all my stuff here for um, tonight. I had a whole bunch of stuff that I'd worked out.